Yeah, here, okay, I've almost completed my build here of my rig with the RTX 5080 and the new, at the time of this video, R9 9950X 3D processor. And I've even got, got Windows installed and installed a few drivers. But I got kind of curious about the, this, this is bleeding edge at the time of this video, this processor and this motherboard. So I was really curious about um, performance and stability. And usually I don't worry much about BIOS updates when it comes to updating the BIOS, unless I'm having problems with the computer. But in this particular case, since this is so bleeding edge and it's a very powerful processor, I know that BIOS updates can sometimes make a big difference on even performance for that matter without you even realizing it, games or whatever. So I got curious and I went into my BIOS here and I started looking really close at what I'm looking at and I'm going BIOS version 0237. I'm like, all right, well, let's just see when that was released or how, how outdated this BIOS really is. All right, well, there's my Ryzen 9 9950X3D here. But BIOS version 0237, I wonder how old this BIOS is. Like I say, um, bleeding edge board. Wonder how many updates it has gotten since its release. Anyway, Let's go to their website and let's find out exactly where my BIOS version stands. Yeah, so we go right into the motherboard's website here. This is the Tough Gaming X870 Plus Wi-Fi motherboard. That is my board indeed. You want to be sure you're looking up your same motherboard that you own, obviously. Let's go over to support. And we're going to go down to drivers and tools. And we're going to look right here at the BIOS and firmware. Here's your BIOS and firmware here. Here's your latest BIOS, which is not my BIOS, interestingly enough. But let's look at see all downloads and see where my BIOS lies. My BIOS, remember, it was 0.0327. Here are the BIOS versions here. Oh, goodness. Keep going, keep going. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay, now we start getting into firmware. So this is the first release. Look at that. 0237. 0237. That's the BIOS that I have installed right now. I'm sorry, I think I said 0327. Uh, a minute ago is zero two three seven is what I have. So I have the OG BIOS version on this desktop computer. Version zero two three seven is what I have on this motherboard, the original. So we're going to definitely upgrade this. Let's see what all kind of updates they had. Uh, this resolves some issues on this one. This was all back in 2024, almost a year ago. Yeah, almost a year ago, these drivers go back. Uh, this has to do with TDP, 105 watts. This has to do with uh, turbo game mode. Enhanced performance in certain games, see there? And that was six months ago. From the time of this video. Um, fan related bugs on this version. Wow. Uh, more updates here. Related, uh, related bugs and system performance. There's another one. System compatibility. Uh, here's a beta version here. Another BIOS update, look at there. There's another update to AGESA. This BIOS enhances system performance and improves high capacity memory compatibility. 
and support for two DIMM memory configurations, which is what I have. But goodness, look at all these up, uh, BIOS updates that. Here we go. Enhanced system performance with support for 9950X3D and 9900X3D processors. This is definitely important and fully relates to what I'm running now. Here's another one. Compatibility with high capacity memory modules once again. Look at this. Enhanced system performance and stability. Rolling back to older BIOSes, and this particular one is not supported. And here's the latest one, which was just this past month. Enhanced system performance, stability, device compatibility, overclocking support. So this is the one that I want right here. And wow, we definitely need to upgrade or update my BIOS again. I usually don't do that unless I'm having problems, but in this particular case, uh, and I was, would recommend if you have a bleeding edge technology, bleeding edge motherboard and processor, I would recommend, definitely would recommend uh, updating BIOS for at least the first year, keeping an eye on things like this, because it can definitely affect your performance too. So let's go ahead and download that. That's downloading and yep, so that's done. So here I have downloaded the appropriate BIOS for my motherboard. We're just going ahead and extract, extract that zip file. And then in this particular case, Asus wants you to rename this BIOS. And we're going to rename it with this tool that they include called BIOS Renamer. So I'll double click that. And it says the file has been renamed to a5569.cap. So we have done that. As you can see there, now it has been renamed. And now what we're going to do is pull that over onto a flash drive that I do have installed on this computer. In this case, I've plugged in a 16 gig flash drive, which we can see here. 16 gig flash drive. What I'm going to do is we want to format this. Now, keep in mind, you will lose all the data on this flash drive. So if you have any data on it that you want to keep, back it up. But we're going to format that flash drive as FAT32. That's important. So format it in FAT32. That's been done. Let's go ahead and open up our downloads folder here. So we just want to basically take this file and we want to move it over onto the flash drive. And now our flash drive is ready for our BIOS flash software that they've included in the BIOS. Let's give that a try. Okay, we are back here into the BIOS. I have disconnected my capturing card and everything from, from this. Um, I just don't want anything to, to interrupt or malfunction, so to speak, during this BIOS update. Uh, so I'm going strictly straightforward, no, no capture software and all that. So I just got the camera pointing right at the screen. And so we're going to go right into our uh, utility. Which we'll go to advanced mode. And then we'll go to tool here. And then here's the ASUS Easy Flash 3 utility. Okay, wow, and it already just sees that file here. It sees it right here. So we know that it's the right BIOS. It identifies it. So let's select it. Please back up your BitLocker recovery keys. BitLocker encryption in the operating system before updating your BIOS because 
it will sometimes trigger the bit locker and you would need your key to unlock it. And then it says to avoid unpredictable situations, please load default settings before updating the BIOS. I have done that. All of my Expo stuff right, is turned off. I have reset the BIOS to defaults before starting this. And then it says the system will restart before updating the BIOS. Okay. And if we click yes, now listen, I've been through this process here with this motherboard. And so I already know what's going to happen here. Watch this. Click yes. It says, do you want to read this file? You do yes. It'll give a slight hesitation. Do you really want to update the BIOS? And I will say, you cannot roll back yes. This is processing down here. And then... It reboots. Okay, and we're rebooting. Splash screen. And we load up Windows. <laughs> Boots straight into Windows. What the heck? So, like I said, I've done this before. I've tried this a couple times. It's the same result every time. Triple check the right BIOS. It is the right BIOS. Did a little research on that. We're going to have to flash this BIOS another way. And how? And the way we're going to do it is we're going to use this easy flash button. Where is it? Oh yes, yeah, down here. Here's an easy flash button. But first we need to move the USB with the BIOS on it. We need to move it up to here. And I don't know if you can see right there, this says BIOS. So that is the, that is the USB port you want to plug your flash drive into with your BIOS like that. And what this what this button is for is for is if you have if your computer doesn't post at all and you have no screen, you can actually use that easy flash button down there. And there's a manner you can even do it without a processor in it at all. But we're going to use this method to go ahead and try to flash our BIOS. Okay, so this is just showing to make sure I do have the BIOS. And it's showing up so the flash drive is being read out of that port that I plugged it into. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to completely shut down our system. Completely shut it down. Turn it off. All right, system is off. And just for fun and giggles for me, I'm going to go ahead and just unplug every other thing from this motherboard. where it's just the USB flash drive. So they want, you want to make sure that, of course, you leave your power plugged in, your 24-pin plug, keep that plugged in. And, of course, you want to keep your power on on your power supply and your plug plugged in there. Once again, be sure you have your USB drive plugged into the correct position, which I do. Okay, so we're going to press and hold this BIOS flashback button for three seconds until we see the uh, flashback LED blink three times indicating that the BIOS flashback function is enabled. So let's do that now. It's this one. That's, that's the antenna. It's this guy here actually. So we're going to press that in. One, two, Three. All right, and I'll let off. So that's going to continue. Wait until the light goes out, indicating that the BIOS updating process is complete. So that is going to continue to flash. And we are now flashing the BIOS. Do not cut power. Do not power on the system. Just leave it alone. We'll see how long this takes. And we'll see what the results are. Okay. We can see here 
that the light is not blinking any longer. Now it says, by the way, this is the BIOS flashback option is what they call this. It's a BIOS flashback button. But it says if that light, when it continues to blink and stops blinking, that means the BIOS was flashed properly. It also says that if that light blinks and then just turns on green and stays green without blinking, that something went wrong. And it's either you know, the flash drive or something, something's wrong with the file in there or corruption or something like that, uh, then you have a problem. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead, keep your fingers crossed, and we're going to go ahead and turn this guy on. Power it on. We have power. Watch my lights. My uh, diagnostic lights up there. Stay in orange for a while. Red, that's a good sign. It's moving. Very good sign. Up, oh, blank. Good sign. White, which is video. And we want to see green. Green. Oh. BIOS is updating. Do not shut down or reset the system to prevent system boot up failure. Okay. Then we shall not shut this down. There's no lights or anything going on down here. But it does tell you do not shut the system down. Oh, we just did a little couple of little reboots here. Okay, there goes our lights again. White video, that was quick. It's updating the firmware now. So this is looking like it's doing good. We are updating the BIOS through the BIOS flashback utility. It's rebooting again. White, green. We have splash screen. Okay. Uh, fans, okay, CPU fan speed detection, that's normal because I don't have anything plugged into my CPU fan because of the water pump. Let's do F1 to enter the BIOS. All right. 1078. We have successfully updated our BIOS. 1078 is what we wanted. 1078 is what we wanted. Well, anyways, that is how we update the BIOS on a Tough Gaming X870 Plus Wi-Fi motherboard. If you have any issues using updating it through the BIOS, that's how you get around it, by using the BIOS flashback built into the motherboard. So great, Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. See you soon.